That will allow them to advance the ball to half court with 9.2 seconds left. Down by two in our only game of the day. And what, what a way to have this one come to an end. Down to the wire. You get just one game. We had five games yesterday for this one to be this good. We're fortunate. Yeah, we really are. We've had so much basketball here in the last week or so to unpack and to really just take in. And this one being the only one on the schedule, it's only fitting that it has this much energy, this much excitement down to the very last 10 seconds. Chineke trapped. Sydney Harvey, five left, fires, hits! <laughs> South Florida leads! With 2.8 seconds left, Sydney Harvey in clutch time. You could see players with hands over their heads. You see Harvey a little bit going to her right. Looked like it was off balance, but didn't matter. Everybody's just shocked right now. You could see the South Florida bench just up and excited, but Stanford, they're focused. Uh, I mean, you kind of have to be now, but wow, what a moment. This has been an unbelievable finish. 55-54, we're not done yet. Stanford with a chance to counter with 2.8 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Sydney Harvey leading the Bulls with 15 points, three of four from the, uh, from the three point line. So some additional time for Stanford. Haley Jones has to hurry and wave off the pass. The travel is called. Brooke Dimitri travels. 1.4 seconds left in the fourth. Stanford down by three. Brink catches. Dimitri, time has run out. And South Florida behind a game winning shot from Sydney Harvey with 3.7 seconds left takes down the defending national champions, the Stanford Cardinal. What a performance from the Bulls here, and they needed every bit of what they got on the production from Betty Menunga, six points, 23 boards, four assists. Sydney Harvey reaches 1,000. They take down the defending national champions. And now pleased to be joined by the star of this one, Sydney Harvey, game-winning shot going through your mind when your team is down by two and you release the ball from your hands. What was going through your head? Uh, I just felt that it was in. Coach called the play, said, Sydney, you want to take the shot for the win? I said, yeah, so. You scored your 1,000th career point. Uh, when do you feel like that will set in in this point in your uh, career? Probably in a few days. I mean, <laughs> I'm still in a rush from this game. This was your second straight win against a top 10 team. You take down Oregon in the battle for Atlantis, and then you, you take down the defending national champions. What have you learned about your team throughout the course of this trip in the Bahamas? I mean that we're mentally and physically tough. Um, we play on the defensive end and just let that lead to our offense, and we can hang with anybody in the country. Sydney, congrats on the win. Thanks Thank for your time. You. Congratulations. Thank you.